何があっても鍵は渡さない使い方も絶対教えねえからなやめろ何言ってるんだ手を離せ誰手をびくともしない俺よりも細い腕小さい体なのに取られた大丈夫<笑>離せよ誰にも鍵を渡さないこれはもう次で壊れるあっいつか大人だってほとんど耐えられないのに君は無理だよ君がそうやってくだらないことをグダグダグダグダ言ってる間に何人死ぬと思っているわけ柱の邪魔をするっていうのはそういうことだよ柱の時間と君たちの時間は全く価値が違う刀鍛冶は戦えない人の命を救えないほら鍵動くいやあれだろう刀鍛冶は重要で大事な仕事です剣士とは別のすごい技術を持った人たちだだって実際刀を打ってもらえなかったら俺たち何もできないですよね剣士と刀鍛冶はお互いがお互いを必要としています戦っているのはどちらも同じですくだらない話に付き合ってる暇ないんだよねあ大丈夫ですか柱の人は鍵を渡したので行ってしまいましたここに立っていた人というかあれはカラクリ人形です鍵はあの人形を動かすために必要だったんですあのカラクリ人形は人間を凌駕する力を持っていて108つの動きができます運動訓練に利用できるんですあっ柱相手にすごいあれが俺の先祖が作った戦闘用からくり人形より一ゼロ式ですあの顔知ってる気がするけどわからないうわあ<笑>終わったいい修行になったよこの刀もらっていくねこてつくんこてつくんはいどうこれで修行してあの澄ました顔のクソガキよりも絶対に強くなってくださいね全力で協力しますのでこれそうぶっちゃいます腕のソガキつい腕は五本ですよあのクソガキに一本壊されたので人形の機能は落ちてます炭治郎さん強くなってくださいそしてヤツにこう言うんです髪長すぎなんだよ切れ昆布頭チルブサイクの短足ゼップしろ恥知らず俺よりも小柄で年下の子なのにいいねなんだこの匂いは月の糸とは違う匂い左側頭部首右の目左脇腹、うんマイオリもずっとよくわかる体力ももどってついていけてこの匂いはよし入るオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーオーマイガーパパ、at some point, she met her sister, but something happened and they could not stay together. 
But also something happened. The tube smile off his face forever and now he is cold to everyone. I guess maybe someone who is close to him betrayed him. From what I saw in the engine, it seems like he was a violent child. That's why also Tokita now is a fighting genius. Because he had to learn how to defend himself since the childhood. There are a lot of thoughts, so I was really waiting for the anime to reveal their story to us. In addition, I am hunted by the similarity of Tanjiro and this super doll that looks like Demon up to me one. First, it seems to me that Kokoshibu is actually a relative old one from the past of Tanjiro. What if many centuries ago he was a Hashira, the strongest one, and he had some kind of goal but he couldn't achieve it. And even though his strength was great, but it wasn't enough. So maybe in one moment, he decided that he can become a demon and use demon's power to achieve the goal. But since just few people, maybe maybe no one, tried to understand demons before Tanjiro, for sure Hashira was deceived by demons. So as soon as he turned into a demon, he forgot everything and only his personality reminded. And maybe some few memories. I'm thinking so, because do we remember Rengoku and his fight with Akaza? Akaza in one moment asked our Hashira, do you want to join demons? And their dialogue looked like there was a Hashira in the past who joined demons. And as we know, all demons turning into demons, they always have a goal. They always have the reason to become a demon. But as soon as they become demons, they forget about everything. So, um, Maybe it happened with our Hashira. And of course, Tanjiro's dream reminds a lot of mystery. But I think it's really probably a memory of one of his relatives. So I hope we will find out the answers to all our questions so soon. So guys, please comment all your thoughts about this video and about this anime. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, big thank you and big love. Tell my buttons for all your support. And if you also want to know my button, please check the button page in the description. And don't forget that I have Instagram and TikTok where you can see even more content. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye!